I'm uh, Ben Wolf, DP on Found in Time. Uh, Arthur and I have been working together since 2000 in his first feature film, and we've worked since then on a great number of projects. As director of photography, I always think that one of my strengths is that I come at the movie from a character basis. That keeps things more human for me. I'll base my lighting more or less around the real circumstances, so pay attention to sources and such, but not slavish. But the, the kind of shots I do tend to be ones in which uh, people can move inside of them and I don't tend to light some specific little area so precisely. I let people have the room to maneuver and talk it over with the director. And we try to really figure out psychologically where would the person be at this line or that line of the script. Would they go towards the door? Would they go towards the middle of the room? Would they go down the street? Would they, you know, sit down? And if you can understand where they're going to be, then you can block out your shots more precisely. You're hopeless as a fighter, you know that. How did you ever get through grade school? I collected things for people. What did you do? What did you fight everybody as a kid? <laughs> Only the people that bother me. Which is everybody. Yeah, which is everybody. <laughs> what was on that card anyway? Dear mom and dad, it's amazing here. There's so much to do and see. I can't believe it's already been two months. Never occurred to you two wrinkled... Never occurred to you two wrinkled up old bags that I might make it. Thanks for nothing. Your loving son, Jacob. Hope you didn't send that. Maybe you should have. I'm beginning to warm up to our little murder mystery. I don't think I like being the suspect. You just have to pin it on someone else, like your poisoning girlfriend. Somehow I don't trust your motives. We ended up moving the camera a lot more, uh, partially because there was not a lot of time, and so we had to get a lot of information in, and partially just Arthur and I are just, uh, just enjoy moving the camera, especially when you're shooting with a 5D, which we did, 5D Mark II, it's a small camera, so you should put it different places. You shouldn't lock it down in my eyes with all the gigaws and the attachments and the, you know, some people make a rig out of it that's this big and the camera's only that big. I say, if it's that big, get it in between the two characters. So I would do that. So it became a much more active kind of camera than I initially thought it would be. And luckily, usually when we're outside, shooting in a deep enough f-stop so people didn't go out of focus. And because I used to be a grip, I am pretty good with knowing how far away I am from a person. I would bring them in with the glide cam and sometimes let them exit with it. Yeah, she's right. I don't have a pair because I spent all my time with you! Oh, yeah! Tough man. Yeah. Let's see how tough the tough man does in two days! The mines, uh, that was the least defined space, and it had to stay very undefined. So I didn't want to set up a whole bunches of lights. I knew we were going to do an optical effect where we would extend the set. So. I thought, let's make it uncomfortable on the eye because it's supposed to be uncomfortable in there. And you'd think searchlights or something. So I just took two park hands and placed them in the background to get one slash of light down the, the middle and one hard, hard edge light on the people seated doing their little sorting through stuff. And the walls were very brick, industrial brick. So I had to get just the right amount of little spill on there. So it didn't become a lost in space, all black set. You know, I just, I just didn't want to do that whole total limbo thing. And then we just rigged Kino flows right in the shot. I thought it was a cool idea. Let it be glary, let it be hot. And you're not supposed to overexpose digital, but I figure if you do, you might as well just go all the way and put the light right in the shop. What the hell? So we did that. Every 
every light in that scene I think is right in the shot which made it a little easier to work with and also kind of uncomfortable and um, yeah. yeah. Then remove the uh, the uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Ha, ha, ha.